गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द सर्कुलर मोशन बाय द नेम इट सेल्फ वेन एनी ऑब्जेक्ट मूव ऑन अ सर्कुलर पाथ देन दैट मोशन इज नोन एज सर्कुलर मोशन वेन वी ऑब्जर्व इन अवर डेली लाइफ देर आर मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स अराउंड अस फॉर एग्जाम्पल द वेरी कॉमन थिंग द हैंड्स ऑफ अ क्लॉक आर हैंड मिनट हैंड सेकेंड हैंड all are moving along a circular path similarly what we know that the earth moves around the sun or it rotate on its own axis similarly the moon moves around the earth and there are other planetary motions in which or we can say in our daily life in our home what we observe the motor right the blades of a fan whatever the blades of a mixer grinder uh, even the motor in the mixer grinder or in the washing machine all moves in the circular motion now the so the object when it moves around a fixed path in a circular path is known as circular motion when the body covers equal distance in equal interval of time over a circular path its speed is uniform as we have learned in our earlier classes when equal distances in equal interval of time is being covered that is known as uniform so when an object cover equal distance in equal interval of time over a circular path it speeds is uniform and that the motion is said to be uniform circular motion right but there is one case that circular motion is always known as an accelerated motion now why accelerated motion means velocity keep on changing but in the previous slide what we uh, discussed that it is said to be uniform circular motion when the speed is constant let us take few example in the very first figure suppose uh, you are moving along a different paths first triangular then second one is quadrilateral third figure is pentagon sixth is hexagon and then we are taking a circular path so if you are moving along a circular track so in that particular case what happen how many times you are going to change your direction that is three times according to the sides of a polygon in the second figure quadrilateral how many times we are supposed to change our direction first along the length then along breadth then third along length and fourth along breadth it means four times we are changing the direction in third figure third figure represent the pentagon and how many sides you are able to observe there are five sides so how many times you are you will be changing your directions five times similarly if it is a hexagon then six times you can observe by black arrows that i have shown that six times we are changing the direction similarly if i, I keep on increasing the sides number of sides heptagon octagon nonagon decagon so the side keep on changing and direction we are going to change right similarly if the track has an indefinite number of tiny sides or point side then the shape of the track will be a circular one right in this particular case the length of each side tends to be zero right point size i have told now so along the circle if you keep on moving so what happen you have to change your direction of motion continuously so when a body moves along a circular path then its direction of motion and keeps changing continuously no doubt if the speed is constant right for example if you are moving on a circular path and if you observe the speedometer of your vehicle the speedometer if showing the constant value for example 40 km per hour but you keep on changing the directions and what i have told you in my earlier classes that velocity is equal to speed plus direction to yahan pe beta speed agar constant bhi hai 
पर डायरेक्शन कंटिन्यूसली चेंज हो रही है सो दैट्स वाई द विलोसिटी की ऑन चेंजिंग विलोसिटी इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट एंड एज द विलोसिटी चेंजेस विद टाइम सो द मोशन अलोंग द सर्कुलर पाथ इज सेट टू बी एसेलरेटेड आई होप इट इज वेरी मच क्लियर एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वाई सर्कुलर मोशन इज एन एसेलरेटेड मोशन राइट नाउ जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दी डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सर्कुलर मोशन एन एथलीट मूविंग ऑन सर्कुलर ट्रैक विद अ कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड a piece of a stone is tied to a thread many of you have played in your childhood you just tie anything on a thread on at one end of the thread and then you keep on moving it right and if you leave it it where it goes it goes out in a straight line right similarly motion of artificial satellites the mo earth moves around the sun tips of your second hand minute hand and hour hand of a watch now for the formulation calculation of speed of an object in uniform circular motion when an object is moving on a circular path obviously that circular path is having some radius r so if the body takes one complete round so what will be the distance that is equal to the circumference and that is equal to 2 pi r let the time taken be t so what is the speed in this case i am not using the word is velocity why here velocity refers to the change in direction only right so speed is equal to distance upon time that is 2 pi r upon t and si unit will be the same as in the case of linear motion that is meter per second so this is the only topic which was left from chapter 1 right now numerical 1 A cyclist goes once round a circular track of diameter 105 meter in 5 minute. Calculate his speed. Now diameter is given 105 meter, so radius you all know that it it will be half, so 52.5. And time is given in mi minute, so convert it into second. That is 5 into 60. That is 30 second. So speed is equal to distance upon time 2 pi r upon time. And on calculation. or why when you will do the calculation it will come out 1.1 meter per second now this is a different one a circular cycle track has a circumference of 314 meter with ab as one of its diameter a cyclist travels from a to b along the circular path with a velocity of constant magnitude 15.7 find the distance covered by the cyclist very first thing circumference is given just observe the mensuration of your maths if the circumference is given you can easily calculate r so similarly in the very first step of the solution circumference is equal to 314 equal to 2 into pi r pi i have taken 3.14 because 314 is given so r will be that is on calculation r will be 50 meter now a part the distance covered by the cyclist distance here they have written a cyclist travel from a to b it means semi circular so distance will be pi r so on putting the values it is coming out to be 157 displacement a to b and here itself it is mentioned that ab is the diameter so that is 100 r is 50 in the very first step so displacement will be 100 meter along direction is what north south direction that is also given in the question now for c part they have given a velocity of constant magnitude 15.7 so they have can distance they all know uh, according to the a part 157 meter and velocity is given 15.7 so on calculation the the time comes out to be 10 second right and they are asking the average velocity of the cyclist so average is the total distance tra displacement traveled upon time so that is 100 upon 10 equal to 50 sorry 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 that is 10 meter per second so very easy topic and a simple one formula that is 2 pi r upon t and only that very thing ki why circular motion is an example of accelerated motion justify your statement so by this we have completed our chapter 
many questions i have discussed even the ncert questions i have discussed so be ready in the first week of july whenever we are having the class we will be discussing the ncert questions so please be ready with this and along with this video i am giving you one assignment based on uh, four numericals only so do it those four numericals and we will be discussing along with it okay thank you